Hi guys, Olive here. Today I am here to do the Behind the Booktube tag. This tag was created by Katie. You may have known her from The Book Wanderer. She later changed her channel name to Kate Lindsay. Katie is unfortunately not making videos anymore, which is very disappointing. She was one of my absolute favorite booktubers. However, I will link her original video down below if you would like to watch it. This is a tag all about the more technical side of making booktube videos. How we go about making our videos is not often talked about on booktube or on other social media sites. I feel like it is not only interesting, but also helpful to people who want to start out in the community. So I'm excited to answer these questions. Question number one is, what type of camera do you use? I do not have a very fancy camera. The one that I am filming on right now is a Canon Vixia HF-R60. It's kind of your basic handheld camcorder that records HD videos. It got good reviews. It had all the features I was looking for. It wasn't abhorrently expensive, so that's what I went with. Question number two, do you use any additional equipment such as microphone, lighting, a tripod, etc.? The only extra equipment I have is the tripod on which my camera is currently mounted. In terms of a microphone, I just use the built-in one on my camera. I find it completely sufficient. I do reduce the level of background noise in my videos to make it a little bit more pleasing to the ear. Given that I live in a city, there is always an element of background noise, so it's nice to be able to filter that out as much as possible. I do have an external mic, this little guy here, and I use it mainly to record audiobook narration samples. I haven't yet figured out where to put this little guy in my filming surroundings to get clean audio that then I could transfer to use on a video. I might expend the effort someday to figure out how to do that, but that day has not yet come. When it comes to my lighting, in my old apartment, I used to use natural light that would shine in through the very large windows that we had. But now this room, my reading room slash our guest room, has windows that face the wall of another building. So this room gets absolutely no natural light. It could be the middle of the day, I could have the windows open and it would still be pitch black in here. So I turn on every single light in this room and then because the color is a little bit unnatural looking, I color balance out my videos in editing later. I'm sure buying a ring light would eliminate the need to color balance, but I'm too cheap for that. Question number three is scripted or spontaneous? How do you plan what you're going to say in your videos? I would say it's a mixture of both. I have a notebook, this one right here, where I write down thoughts about things that I would like to say in my videos, kind of talking points to keep me focused, but I never want it to feel too scripted. I want it to feel like a spontaneous conversation like I would have with a friend. So I'm never following it to the letter, but I find if I don't have the major talking points that I wanna cover, that things could get forgotten or I go off on tangents. Question number four, how many takes do you do when filming? As many as it takes to get it right. A lot of my raw footage gets edited out and it just so happens that I've always really liked the rapid fire jump cut style which is now the style of my videos. So you can't really tell by watching that there's that much edited out because that's just kind of the style of the videos. But trust me, a lot hits the cutting room floor. Question number five is if you use music in your videos, where did you find it? I only use music in my outro. It's the same song every single time. It's a song called April Showers by Pro Leader. The link to his website is always without fail in the description box below with the licensing information. I was kind of getting an idea that I would like to do an outro at some point, And so I started surfing Free Music Archive after I think I heard Little Book Owl talk about finding music for your videos. I've always really loved the combination of hip hop or electronic music mixed with big band old timey music and I stumbled across Pro Leader. Absolutely fell in love with him and knew particularly that April Showers was the song I wanted. It took me a really long time to actually get that outro on the end of every video I made, but I absolutely love it now and I highly recommend Free Music Archive. Artists will put their songs up there free for you to use, but you do need to pay attention to the fine print. Some artists are okay if you use their music for whatever, as long as you're giving them credit. Some of them will allow you to use it, but only if your videos are not monetized. So just pay attention to that information while you are browsing the music. Question number six is how do you make your thumbnails? For the first minute or two of every video I make, I make faces at my camera and make myself laugh for a while. I comb through that hot mess of footage to find a thumbnail that I like 
that potentially makes me laugh, that suits the video well. And then if I'm adding text, I go to pickmonkey.com and edit it there. Question number seven is what do you use to edit? My husband has a very, very old version of Sony Vegas still on his computer from way back when, when he used to edit videos. Even though it's a very old version, it still does the trick. I just need it to do the basics. My husband was able to teach me how to do that and I've been able to learn a few extra things by watching YouTube tutorials. Question number eight is, do you have any tips, tricks, or hacks when it comes to filming or editing? I would recommend you do something similar to me when it comes to preparing for videos. I find I make the absolute best videos when I have sat down and at least come up with, like I said, talking points about what I wanna talk about in the video. If you take the time to sit down and write or type out some major points that you definitely wanna hit in the video and take the time to research any pronunciations of authors' names, any other information you need for the video, you will thank yourself later. Try to take notice of what works and doesn't work for your videos when you're editing and then apply those changes in the next video you film. Also, before you render your video and then upload it, watch through it one full time. I know it takes a long time and might feel a little bit masturbatory, but trust me, you will catch errors. And the last question is, what makes a good booktube video from a production standpoint? I would say preparation by the booktuber, not only knowing what they're going to say, but having their setup ready to go. Being able to see and hear the booktuber clearly, it does not have to be the best HD quality, but at least being able to see you and make out what you're saying is important for me getting your message. And specifically when it comes to the audio, I have to piece out on videos that have ear piercing audio feedback. I have extremely sensitive ears. And so no matter how much I would love to watch your video, if there's that feedback, I can't watch. There are ways to get rid of that feedback. You just have to do a little bit of research. So that was the behind the booktube tag. I hope it gave some insight into how I go about crafting these videos. Since this tag was created forever ago, and I have no idea who's done it, I will not be tagging anyone. However, if you've not done this tag and you think it's interesting, you would like to do it, consider yourself tagged, I tag you. Also let me know if you do the tag because I'm nosy and wanna hear your answers. If you have any comments about anything I've said in this video or about anything in general, you can either put it in the comment section below or find me a variety of places on social media. The links to all of my profiles are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.